Welcome to Trophy TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Uh, Everton have today revealed the results for their end of season awards. Uh, Jordan Pickford had been voted player of the season. He's had a tremendous season for Everton this season. Jordan, 13 clean sheets, uh, obviously going off to the Euros with England as their number one. Absolutely superb uh, performance from him. And he rightly gets... The, uh, the player of the year, I think. James Tarkovsky was also excellent as well. Um, and I think he he's a little bit unfortunate that uh, Jordan Pickford has pipped them to it. But Jordan Pickford is the player of the year. Uh, Jared Brantwaite has been named the player's player of the season, as well as the young player of the season as well. Brantwaite spent last season on loan at PSV, come back into the squad this summer. And has made himself undroppable. It's his full first full breakout season for Everton. He's had a tremendous season. Obviously, getting voted player's player is an incredible achievement because that's the one you want with the, the appreciation from your fellow teammates. And obviously, his season has been that good. He's been named in Gareth Southgate's 33-man provisional squad for the Euros. He's also been linked with a move to Manchester United and Manchester City this summer. Hopefully, he will stay, but given Everton's financial predicament, we just don't know, but he has had a tremendous season for Everton. Uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin has won the goal of the season for his goal in Everton's 2-0 victory in the Merseyside derby. Tremendous headed goal by Dom. A big, big goal for Everton as well that night, of course. And it meant Everton had won a Merseyside derby at Goodison Park for the first time in 14 years. I missed it and I am devastated. Uh, Everton's women's goalkeeper, Courtney Brosnan, has been named the women's player of the season. So congratulations to Courtney. And Jensen Metcalf has won the academy player of the season. He's had an excellent season, Paul Tate said. Also been involved uh, in some Everton squads as well this season. Been training with the first team for a large, uh, large part of it. And who knows, maybe he can step up. I'm sure he'll be looking forward to pre-season and getting in amongst the first team and maybe getting some game time. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Jensen. But congratulations to him. Everton are reportedly considering a bid for Benfica midfielder Florentino Luis this summer. The Portuguese 24-year-old has a €120 million uh, Euros release clause. However, Benfica are thought to, uh, to be open to him leaving. Everton have uh, tracked him for a while, inquired about him in the January market. Um, he won't be going for anything like that, so that figure is obviously a crazy one. It's those big uh, release fees that these Portuguese and Spanish teams tend to have in their contracts, but um, yet reportedly they are open to Luis moving Everton. It is the story goes, are looking for a replacement for Amadou Onana, who is expected to leave the football club this summer. Uh, Everton have reportedly set an asking price of around £80 million for defender Jared Branthwaite. Spoke about him before, was named the double player of the year for Everton. But um, Everton have reportedly agreed a 15% sell-on agreement with Carlisle United. So the Blues will be looking for as much as they can get if um, we have to sell Branthwaite this summer if those big fees come in for him. We need to get as much as we can out of these clubs, sell on our terms, not this. I'm hoping he stays with the football club, but if he does go, we need to get as much as possible, and especially with that sell-on fee as well, of course. And finally, some uh, disappointing news for Nathan Patterson. Everton's young Scottish defender has been ruled out of the Euros. He was injured in the 6-0 defeat at Chelsea and simply hasn't recovered in time to be considered for this summer's European Championship. Massive blow for Patterson would have been excellent for him to go away with Scotland in that and be part of that squad for the Euros. But uh, he is ruled out along with Aaron Hickey and Lewis Ferguson for Steve Clark's men. That is it for the News Daily tonight. Look out for our documentary. Toffee TV is 10 years old. We have got a little bit of a documentary uh, available to watch. So give that a watch. Give that a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.